I'm Michael, I'm director of the QT Center for Robotics and a keen film geek. When I go to see these movies, I'm there to be entertained. But it is also fun to think about how realistic the engineering concepts in these movies are. It doesn't matter if they're realistic or not, but it's still really interesting to think about. Now, I've learned from painful experience to do spoiler warnings. I said that there was time travel in the Avengers Endgame movie and the internet went nuts. So here it is, spoiler warning. In Alien Romulus, the most recent Alien movie, the humans have to sneak carefully through a room that's occupied full of facehuggers. And in this movie, the facehuggers are portrayed as detecting people by heat, and particularly heat differentials, so the person hotter or colder than the surrounding environment. So one of the really cool concepts explored in this scene is the concept of changing the temperature of the room, because it's not easy to change the temperature of the people themselves, so that it's about the same as the people. So they do this um, and it sort of works, but it's a nice variant on the traditional thing, which are like visual cloaking devices or invisibility cloaks. This is thermal invisibility by making everything the same temperature. If you don't, we're gonna kill you. Why? And we're gonna keep killing you. Still why? Until we do find out who you are, and then we're gonna ban you for okay. life. In the movie Free Guy, we see Ryan Reynolds playing an online NPC. They're controlled by some sort of AI agent in the computer program. And in this scene, Ryan Reynolds' character has realized that he's actually in this virtual world and then it opens the floodgates of self-realization and exploring what it means to be him. Now, in these sorts of setups, there's usually two key themes. One is whether the people around the AI agent or virtual robot can work out that it's actually not a real person that they're talking to. But the other one, which is perhaps even more interesting, is what we see in this scene, is the AI agent realizing itself that it is sentient and has some sort of consciousness. This whole concept of other people trying to work out whether someone or something they're talking to is a human or is an AI agent is everywhere in science fiction depictions. We see it in the Terminator movies where Terminators go undercover impersonating people and some of their basic behavioral characteristics. And we see it at a more sophisticated level in the Blade Runner movies where we see very detailed interview scenes with the artificial organisms which are named replicants that are determining whether that replicant is actually a human or is in fact artificial. Those aren't your memories, they're somebody else's. The concept of AI that's perhaps indistinguishable from people has really come to the forefront of the public's imagination uh, because of what has happened with ChatGPT and new approaches to AI like large language models. We're now at the stage where in terms of superficial interactions, either through a chatbot or increasingly through a physically embodied robot that has this AI system behind it, where it's getting a little bit more difficult to sort of superficially tell whether you are actually talking to a person or to an artificial intelligence or robot. And so we really live in an interesting time in terms of trying to distinguish between what is artificial and what is human. Stay with Bourne. Clear to engage the target. The fourth Jason Bourne movie with Matt Damon is full of technological concepts around espionage and around surveillance. One of the key activities you see through all of this movie series is the concept of these all-powerful security agencies being able to tap into camera networks all over the world and track people really accurately and and part of the plot device of these movies is Jason Bourne using his spycraft expertise to try and avoid being tracked. Smartphones are everywhere, there's increasing amounts of surveillance around the world and the technologies that you can use to track and identify someone are also becoming more sophisticated. So the AI systems that are used to look at a face are much more capable at recognizing someone. There are also very interesting ways to track people that you might not think would be possible. For example, if you can watch someone walk, 
you can do a thing called gait analysis, which is basically looking at how they walk. And you can get surprisingly good identification of individual people without ever seeing their face. So when in these movies you see them switching between different cameras and looking at people through smoke and through fires, it may seem implausible that they can continue to track this person, but with the current capabilities, it's actually quite possible. 25 minutes to door knock. In Mission Impossible 4, one of the most iconic scenes of the entire series occurs where Ethan Hunt, or Tom Cruise's character, is attempting to climb up the outside of the Burj Khalifa using these really cool technological gloves that help him stick to the outside of the building. Now, how realistic is this? Well, we know from nature that many animals are able to do pretty much the same thing. The exact science behind how this is achieved is known to a certain extent, but there's still some uncertainties. One of the big debates around is the extent to which these animals or insects excrete some sort of liquid substance that allows them to adhere to the surface or the degree to which this is actually an interaction that doesn't involve a liquid at all. Engineers of course are interested in replicating this to create useful technologies for small robots. There's lots of applications for small robots to go on the outsides of buildings to do inspection, to do maintenance and to do cleaning. And there are things that you can potentially do with a small lightweight robot, perhaps tethered to the building with these adhesive technologies uh, that are closer in the future than maybe a full human clambering up the side of the Burj Khalifa. Hundreds of millions or billions of people watch these movies every year. And if that introduces them to some really cool engineering technologies and capabilities that might be coming in the near future, that's a fantastic outcome beyond just the entertainment.